When you think of Invincible's standout episode of the series, you think of season one's finale, or the episode before, the penultimate episode, or how the most recent episode, season two, episode four, where they had the great idea of taking a break the instant the plot got going this season. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That rant is for another video. Anyways, it's actually none of those episodes. Personally, the best episode or my favorite episode of Invincible is Season 1, Episode 5, or the episode with Titan as the main focus, which I really like Titan as a character. By his rough exterior, they really peel back the layers of this guy and show that he's really down to earth. I also love what it does for Invincible's character as it tests his judgment as a superhero and who he should trust. Trust the judgment of his superiority complex father, who we all know is a menace to the planet, literally murdering Earth's main defense in the first episode, or trust the down-to-earth guy who's a criminal based on circumstances alone and would change things up if he had the chance, which they do a really good job at making you feel bad for this guy. So Mark went with his gut and helps Titan with this crime war, which I find really cool that a Superman level character like Invincible is dealing with Daredevil level problems. Overall, this episode is just a down to earth, standalone story, playing with Spider-Man like problems, having to balance everything in his life. As much as that trope is cliche in superhero culture, I really find it fun to watch. Then Battle Beast enters in Rex shop as Omni-Man watches his son get his ass kicked for the hundredth time. Invincible goes of berserk for five seconds till he gets wrecked by Battle Beast, which everyone is at Battle Beast's mercy. The main reason why the fight ended the way it did was because Battle Beast left because he's like, oh nah, I ain't wasting my time on this. Then in a last second twist, turns out the guy we're supposed to be trusting this entire episode betrayed Invincible and used him to reach the top of the crime world, which is really poetic. So in a twisted turn of events, Omni-Man was right, after all. The dickhead was right. Mark's gut literally had to pay the consequence of that. Oh, how things escalate in this show. I love it so much. So yeah, the best episode of Invincible isn't what you think.